Catherine Connolly and Deputy John Collins. Neil Moggett, and I want to um, I welcome the opportunity to speak on this motion, and I thank Sinn Féin for setting out crystal clear the unsustainability of the energy bills that continue to rise, and also the failure of the government to deal adequately this, with it. Let me just put on the record that I welcome and I acknowledge that approximately £12 billion has been paid out over the last year on a number of different schemes which were very welcome but they're all once off piecemeal without any overall policy in relation to where we're going and we faced crisis after crisis we started when we declared a climate emergency and a biodiversity emergency housing crisis has been there before i came into the doll and has continued unabated we have the ukrainian crisis and the war in the ukraine and so on but at no stage has this government shown that we need transformative action. Now, I welcome what you have done in terms of the money you have given out, but it should be part of transformative action that you've utterly failed to do it. So once again, we're supporting Sinn Féin in relation to a piecemeal approach again. Uh, uh, and th that's, that's the position we've been forced into. You've brought in no legislation, notwithstanding that the EU regulation is almost five months ago. We still haven't got legislation that was promised in relation to capping and in relation to taxing the windfall profits. Now, there's no sense of urgency whatsoever. You quote Europe all the time in terms of supporting Europe and waiting for a policy, particularly in relation to the war in Ukraine. We don't want to use our voice for neutrality because it's very important that we stand together with Europe and yet we have various European countries all taking different initiatives in relation to taxing uh, the windfall tax and other approaches and we don't seem to have any difficulty at all with that minister or certainly ye don't. In relation to the um, carbon tax, I have never supported a carbon tax. I'm on record for absolutely describing the climate emergency and the biodiversity emergency as the, an existential threat. I will do anything to make this country greener, but I do not think carbon tax is the way to do it. It's a very unjust tax. If Sinn Féin are changing their mind on that, I welcome that change. I welcome that they have a motion to reduce the increase. But just let me look at two things. I come to the carbon tax. The review of security of energy supply, we're still waiting for it. It was promised back in 2020. We're in 2023. The consultants were appointed, the CEPA, the Cambridge, the CEPA, they, they give the technical consultants and we're still waiting for the report in relation to energy supply and security. Again, no sense of urgency at all. In relation to carbon tax, and we've been accused over here on the left of being completely out of touch because we're against a carbon tax. I come from Galway City and I saw what a positive policy did in Galway City 22 years ago, almost 23 years ago, we had three bins, we had an, an education liaison officer that went out to the homes in terms of recycling, reuse. That's 21 years ago, 22. A book was written on it, The Burning Issue. You know what the government of the time did, Minister? Be of interest to you. They actually took the power away from local authorities to develop their own um, waste management plans. Do you remember any of that? took away the power when Galway City showed the way forward. They were the second last authority to be privatised. Absolute disaster. But that's what we did. So I know the power of in encouraging people. And indeed, in Galway City, it was the people that led us. In relation to the carbon tax, which is introduced in 2010, I note what Professor John Sweeney said, who's in favour of the carbon tax. But he said politicians feel comfortable talking about taxes rather than more fundamental social and economic changes I would actually use slightly different language and say not comfortable talking about transformative change where we bring energy the new changes we have to be to be owned by the people the carbon tax is an easy way governments tell us to generate revenue but in my opinion and an opinion of, of people who are far more up-to-date in relation to this tax it's a regressive tax it's designed to change people's behavior Behaviour hasn't changed according to the statistics. It, the Eurostat data in quarter 222 show that Ireland had the highest greenhouse gas emissions. Ireland's emis emissions per capita are roughly double EU average and so on. And then finally, I'll finish with what the SRI working paper said in 2008 before the carbon taxes. They said a carbon tax will not stop climate change. Indeed, it's unlikely to have a measurable direct impact on global warming. It's simply a signalling measure. 
symbolic signaling measure that uh, it has a most unfair uh, um, effect on poorer people. Thank you, Deputy.